we went around every one of my bottom edges. There's no way to find your rafter without poking a hole in it. It's all right. Go ahead, get it cut. All right, so we've went around the whole place. The first thing you have to do on your mobile home is find out where the rafters are on the bottom. The only way to do that is to take a screwdriver, poke holes, find each side of it, mark the center. We do that all the way down the house. The first thing we do is we find out where our first four foot sheet of plywood is going to hit, OSB, excuse me, let me confuse, with our six inch overhang down here. So from the six inch overhang to here is my four foot mark. I'm going to put a one by four right here. From here all the way down. The reason why I'm going to do that is because there's a one by four here. And I want this thing to run fairly level up through here. And then we, we come to the top on this particular one and it goes flat. It's completely flat for like three feet. So our first sheet of plot, uh, one by four will go here. Then we'll put our first run of plywood in here. And then we're going to cut a two foot piece. We're only going to go to here. And we're going to run another one by four all the way down. We're going to put a two foot piece in there. We went to the other side. We marked up where we needed to be for our four foot center of the plywood. And then we're going to have a 32 inch piece here. And then we'll use plywood blocking for everywhere around. We poked holes in the roof so that we could find out where the wires were running. Fortunately down here they're running great. They're not, uh, there's no issues with wires so far. So we're going to go, we know there is down here. So we'll figure that out when we come to it and we will uh, eliminate the problem by removing the wires where they belong. But for the first section, we don't have to do that. Now, they also poked holes up here to find the top. So you got bottom, rafter, center, mark a line, go all the way up, find your center up here, using a the screwdriver. Then take a nice chalk box. Chalk. Take a nice chalk box and start marking them all. Marking every one of them just like that. Now that that's now we know where the rafters are. And uh, on this one, what, they every 16, huh? Yep. That's great. I like that. that that's a good strong roof right there. Um, that's a good strong roof when they're on 16s. So I like that. So we, like I said, cut holes in it. Doesn't matter. We're getting ready to put OSB on the top of this thing. But we knew there was wires running here. Didn't we find one here? Yes. Somewhere? Oh, that's right. But, oh, that's right. It's over here. So we wanted to make sure that that wire was not running on top of the rafters right there. It comes through the wall. So, feeling back. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Run right in between. I can shake the whole wire, too. So, I'm not worried about there being an issue of it going over the top. What I'm looking for, and then we're gonna start laying plywood. Didn't think it was gonna be that bad. You know what we gotta do? We need to start fixing it. <laughs> I wouldn't walk down there even. I bet it's gone all the way down, bud. I wouldn't even go over there and stay away from anything past this point. Walking. Um, we need to start fixing this. So let's get some. Uh, let's get down and get some two by fours on the bench. We got them in the back of that trailer. And we're gonna start cutting pieces. I'm gonna have you cut them for me. Morning. Hmm? I'm cutting holes. Huh? <laughs> yeah, stay away from that outside edge. You go fucking. It'll be the end of us right there. Good. Don't look good right there. That's what. The trusses are good. Take that piece of one by out. Yeah, I can see it probably still keeps going past that pipe boot. Okay. <coughs> so 
a couple pieces of this up anywhere we make a hole. We want to make sure we put insulation in it. It's a nice top step. Yeah. Yeah, see the before. I'll bring it down. I'll put this back in there. Outside one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want to have no screw to. No, you won't. You see how much cooking I put to hold that thing? I see that. I threw the rope out. If you walk on it, make sure you walk on the humps. But the red line, the red lines are good. All these red lines, you can walk on the red lines right. only. Right. Anywhere where there's a red line, you can and you and you can walk on it if you want to. Right. It won't. You, it will hold you. Oh, that top step's a bitch. Yep. Yeah, that's what I do. I just put my knee up. Yep. Ah, sucks getting wait. Oh, wait till you have to get down then. Oh. I'm gonna have to turn that ladder around. Gravity helps. Yes. Okay. Um, this this is the wire for in here. Bedroom light. We've uh, seen where it runs. It's all in that's between. That's the one that was coming from. Mm -hmm. And it's everything's all in between the here. Okay. We cut another hole over there. Nothing, nothing above the outside light. So that was good. Um, we found. There should be something above the outside light. No, yeah, there's not. It doesn't go up. It doesn't oh, go up okay. into the wall. That's the outside light. It doesn't come up into the wall. And then we found one over here that came up the wall. The one that comes in the living room wall comes up into the ceiling and it's all on in between it's a good uh, thing that's the one that goes uh, to the uh bedroom probably the bathroom. fixture B bathroom bathroom, bathroom. bathroom. okay yep yeah. and it's it's everything is in between thank you lord all the way that's a good thing so we like that and then so far we haven't found anything uh that's exposed to the ceiling but we ran into that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah we're, we're still checking though. Once we go down through, yeah. we're not done yet. But this is as far as we want to go today. Get this fixed. Get this covered up. Yeah. Make sure we can cover it up for tonight's little, little storm. Yeah. yeah, we didn't expect. I didn't expect all this. But didn't expect all that. I mean, it's fixable. It's just didn't expect it. And you don't want to stand out here because you'll fall right into your ceiling. See that one? That's the sag. Broke. That's a bad break. And the reason why these things I try to tell people they don't leak is because of that plastic. They put that plastic in there. But look at that. Oh, I know, I'm not trying to tear up the ceiling, is what I'm working on. You know? Well, you know it's screwed down. You ain't got no nails in it. Huh? You ain't got no nails in it. No, there's no nails in it. So we wish you would go in there and jack that ceiling up? Uh, you better put a, something across here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's get something put across here before we start putting our things in, because this one's low. We want to flatten that ceiling out where it's low. Push it back up. So we're gonna put a, some legs in there. Yeah, yeah. Let's get some legs. A header in there. Probably have to stand it up if you're gonna span eight feet, Paul. Go a good one. run into nightmares all the time my friend I see them all the time we're probably gonna have to take out more of that I think we're gonna have to go back to there that's nasty that's that's the exterior one by four and then there's another one before that runs on the top and both of them are gone so we're gonna that's why I gotta get that cleaned out out there this doesn't matter I don't give a shit about this it all goes away um, but I got to clean that out so I can get me a one by four on the outside and then another one on top. Get some support in there. Huh? Get some support. Yeah, got to have some, got to have something. See, that one by four is what I screw into that outside one and then that one inch and a three quarter one's here. This is two, right. that one right there. Then you got a three quarter one standing up out here. It's three and a half inches. So I had to get back to that wherever it stops right at that. Yeah, I know that sucks. That's it does suck, I have to say. That's, never look forward to that, but it happens. It's not the first time I've seen it. All 
that won't be the last. Yeah, we found a couple issues. What's the matter, Paul? You don't want to go to the top like I have them, like you cut them for? Okay. Yes, sir. Looks good. Yeah, I see it. All right, so we have started our plywood. Started the plywood on this end here. We'll have a three inch overhang somewhere around there. But back here, it's going to be much bigger because we want to continue that overhang all the way out on that one there. We're going to give it six at the bottom, maybe six over here at the side, just so it looks everything looks kind of even. We've already made our six inch overhang here. And it's basically five and a half, six. You can make it anything you want to. Um, but that's what we do. We, we get them out here six inches, pop all of our lines so we know where the rafters are down through here. These are screwed to the rafters. These are screwed to the rafters. These are screwed down through to the rafters. We're running a two foot. What it break? Yeah, Oh, put a two foot piece all the way down through here. It's going to be a 36 inch piece from there to there, and then a four foot piece on that outside. Half two. Sink vents, right? Huh? You're getting in sink vents, you don't have to have them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you don't need them. You're gonna have to cut that down lower. Also, hump up here in the middle. What you're seeing is one by four that they ran underneath the metal here, here. Nope, there's none on the top. Then they got one here and here. So they got one, two, three, four runs of one by four. So for us to get up even with their one by four, we added our own one by four here. We added our own. And that gets us on the hub. So that is now flat from there to there instead of from there to there. And that's what I want. And that was what I wanted. Nice flat top, because that's what this thing has, a flat top. That's basically the way we're going to make it. In the bottom. Oh, major. Alright, so we've been working our way down through because we knew there was some power wire somewhere. We just didn't know where. And so far, we've ran into none. We got to right here and we found them. We got to right here and we found them. So from here back that way, we're going to have to be really serious looking for power wires that go over the top of the rafters like this. I don't know why they do it, but they do it. Look at that. Metal. Wire. That's insanity right there. How do they get away with that? I don't know. Because they have a big space right there that they're coming in. Plenty of room to run right in between them two routers right there and right where they want to go. But they're like, no, that's too hard, I guess. They run them over the top. I hate that. <laughs> hate it. So we know that we're going to run into some of that down through there because we already seen it right there. Them wires go over the top also. So we're going to be rerouting wires tomorrow. Porch is fine. It's an inch lower. <laughs> 
See, I told you mine will be smaller. Keep spreading it. Just keep spreading it. Huh? Did you put it up here? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, no big deal. You got a screw right there too. Another one? Oh yeah. Where are the screws? Grab this piece right here. Mm -hmm. Huh? I had it the right way. You did? Yeah. Oh. 